Welcome back. Today we are going to be getting into this beast of a box right here. So you'll see I've changed up the setup a little bit so I could try and fit both myself and this massive box into the frame, which I actually can't do. <laughs> so I've got some scissors and I thought we could just go ahead and get into the box. But firstly, I will quickly show you the box. This is, of course, the Deluxe Celebration Home gift set. I don't know if you can see, I'll stand up. This is the front of the box with the little picture of it all together there. And a little summary of everything that comes in the box. And then you can see the little cats peeping through there. I can't show it very well because I've not got the room. <laughs> Turn it to the side and we have a bit more detail as to the houses that you get in there. So the uh, small one, the medium one and the large one, which is the sweet raspberry home, the cozy cottage and the tower home. And then what have we got on the back? We've just got some pictures of um, it full of families, having fun, some different little scenes all set up there. I'm so excited. <laughs> and then oh, on the other side, we have just in a bit more detail, all of the little bits and pieces that come in the box. Loads and loads of bits. So we're gonna get that all out today and have a little look. So let me just cut the tape and then I will start getting things out. And hopefully then we'll be able to see a bit better what we're working with. Oh, wow, this is such a big box. Honestly, it's a bit like Christmas, isn't it? Okay. All right, what have we got? First thing on the top there, we've got a little um, sort of bit of paper telling you how to put everything together. And there's some stickers in there as well. I might put this on the floor actually, and then I can oh, lift things out. There we go, that's better. <laughs> So these are the Persian cats, the mum, the dad, and the triplets. Let's get those out first, shall we? I'll just pop all the cardboard over to one side. Look at their little tails poking through. <laughs> That's so funny. Right, how do we get these out then? So the parents appear to be strapped in in the usual way with their little elastic. Oh my God, I love his outfit. He's got little silk trousers. Gorgeous. And being the Persian cats, I don't know how well you can see, if I hold him up there, how fluffy they are. Absolutely adorable. Love that. So I'm just going to pop him over here and we will get Mrs. Persian cat out. I love her dress. It's so pretty. I like that they're different colours as well. So he's grey and she is white. Look at her dress, it's beautiful, isn't it? There you go, can you see her little fluffed, fluffy hair and she's got fluffy arms and legs. Sorry for exposing you there, Mrs. Persian Cat, but I wanna show off your fluff. <laughs> and her little fluffy tail. It's like a little pipe cleaner, I think. But how beautiful is that dress, I just love it. So you've got Mr. and Mrs. Persian Cat, adorable. And then the three babies, the little triplets. How do we get this out then? Good job I bought my scissors. This is actually taped across somehow. Oh, there we go. Don't want them to go flying out all over the place. <laughs> Oh, so they come with a little basket to sleep in. Obviously, it's a little cat basket because they're little cats. And the three little babies. Oh, they're so cute. I don't know their names. Um, I will have a look later and let you know. But we'll just get everything out first and then we'll go through all the little bits 
in more detail. So first up, I think, is the tower home. Oh, wow. I don't know how well you can see. I might see if I can just move the camera back a little bit. Hold on one moment. I think that's a bit better, isn't it? I've just moved you a bit further away so you can see. Oops. So we've got lots of cardboard, obviously, to keep everything all safe. I'll just pop that behind me. Plastic on. Oh, wow. I love this house so much. It is absolutely gorgeous. The colours are just beautiful. So there's cardboard. Just keeping it all together. We've got the little green accents on the uh, windows and the door is green. I love the blue, I love the pink. I just, I love it, all of it. And it's very detailed inside as well. I will show you closer up once we've unboxed everything. So I'll pop that up there. Love that. It's really nicely decorated as well. There's like little bits of uh, sort of flowers and things everywhere. Right, so this box, I believe, probably contains all of the little bits and pieces. So I'll have a look at that in a moment. We've got some more cardboard in there, just keeping the houses separate. So I think what I might do is keep the majority of this cardboard in the box, um, just to keep it safe if I pack it away. Whereas normally, um, as I've said in previous videos, if I've got like little bits of card like this, I tend to throw them or recycle them. I don't tend to keep them. I just keep the main sort of retail box. But I think for this, because it's such a big piece, I might actually keep these. Apologies if that's a bit disjointed. I just, my phone just rang and my phone is my camera. So let's move on. Right. Lots of cardboard, as I was saying. Obviously, everything is very well packaged, kept nice and safe. I'm just gonna pop all of this for now on the floor or back into the box. I think that came that way. And we'll get the next property out. I love this one. This is the cozy cottage. I love the cozy cottage, the, the red roof one. Um, I have that one, it's upstairs. Um, but this is just adorable. Love the colours. They look so much nicer in person. So if you haven't got this, you need it. <laughs> no, if you haven't got this and you love pastel colours, it's definitely worth seeing if you can get your hands on it because I've never seen um, any homes for Sylvanians in these colours. There is another home actually that I do really like. Um, I don't know what it's called, I can't think of the name. It's got a blue roof, it's quite small and it has a swing in it. I'm trying to think of what it's called. Hillside? I don't know, I'm sure my Sylvanian friends will know um, but I've got my eye on that but for now we're talking about this set. So this is the Cozy Cottage House. They do tend to put um, bits of cardboard in the door just to stop them from swinging open, which I think is a good idea. Let's pop that over here. And we will get the last bit out. This is just an unboxing video. You don't need all the details, but this is the Sweet Raspberry Home in the limited colours. I love this little, um, what would you call that? Like a, a terrace maybe? A little patio kind of area, front porch if you like. This is an interesting shape home because it has got this um, bit here. Obviously it's made to be put together so that that will sit nicely on the top there. And it's nice and secure when it's like that. So I know some sort of, um, they, they don't look like they should go together, but they do. And actually they sit together really nice and sturdy. So if you were to be playing with this, or if you've got kids that were playing with it, you don't need to worry that the houses are gonna fall off of each other. They do really sit together nicely. So yeah, I'm really happy with that. 
I love all of these homes individually and we'll set them up all together as well at the end of the video. So I'm just going to put the houses back up here and then we'll get into the box of the little bits as well. Where can that go? Let's move this bit of cardboard, put that on the floor. Ooh. It's turned into a video of the back of my head. Right, what's in here then? I'm excited about this because this is bound to be all of the furniture and all of the little pieces. And, oh, look at that. That is so satisfying. They're all the little flowers. And they are in pink, purple and white. So they really go with the aesthetic of the pastel colours. There's the vines. Um, they look like little ivy, trailing ivy. Railings. Railings for me are one thing that puts me off buying second hand because I do find that a lot of railings are missing on second hand homes and, and other buildings. Right, so you've got stairs there, the windows for the cosy cottage, some other window frames and some more railings. Oh my God, look how adorable that is. This is the um, pram, the baby, I think they call it baby carriage on the front. I'm not sure, but to me it's a pram. Wow, that's beautiful. Look at the colour of that. It's like a sage green colour. And inside, if you can see, it's all quilted pattern. It's got a little embellishment on the side of some flowers. And that's just beautiful. I love that so much. The hood moves back and forth as well. I don't think, oh, it is also removable. You can just pinch it and it comes off. Whether you're supposed to or not, I don't know, <laughs> but it's fine. <laughs> that is so pretty, I love that. My cat's just come down for his dinner, so apologies if you can hear some crunching going on. What else have we got in here? Oh, so this sits on top of the tower home. That goes just up there. We'll pop that together in a moment. And this is the uh, lounge set. Wow, I'm very excited by this as well. I, I just love the patterns. This is what drew me to this. Um, this gift set because just the patterns on things look how pretty that is lovely what's that then is that the uh that must be the base of the chair yeah that goes like that oh pretty very nice i'll show you in more detail once i've got everything put together and then we have a little tiny I think that's an, oh my God, yeah, a tiny little teacup in there. If you can even see that, probably not. And I don't know what that is. I'll have a look in a moment. The little chairs, which match, of course. Let's just pop the cushions in those. Gorgeous chairs. This is the sort of furniture I'd imagine in like a conservatory or garden room or something like that. And we've got the other chair. So let's just pop that together as well. So these cushions, the um, fabric is actually interchangeable. And here's the other fabric here. Let me get one out if I can. Oh, there we go. So there's this yellow pattern as well. So I suppose whatever you prefer, really. I personally really like the pink and blue that's already in there. But this will come in handy if you want to switch things up. So I'm just going to keep that in its little plastic bag nice and safe. We'll keep that aside. Okay, what else have we got in here? So we've got the little flower pots um, that sit outside the front of the house. And then some little hanging baskets as well. So I'm very excited about that. So let me pop everything on the table and then I will show you around everything all together. And I think I will wrap the video up once I've done that and I will do another video of putting it all together and setting it up as the deluxe celebration home. So bear with me a moment. It will be milliseconds for you, but a couple of minutes for me whilst I set everything up and I will show you around the house and all of the little accessories um, and then we'll come back 
tomorrow and put everything together so all right so over here we have got the sweet raspberry home or the small home um from the collection see what i mean about this little porch area it's just so nice you can imagine them sitting out there on a hot day or just standing out there and waving to their friends and the detail down here is just beautiful and this color i don't know how well it shows up on the camera but it is gorgeous so this is what i meant about how it looks a bit of an odd shape um because it's got this platform but that means that the cozy cottage sits really nicely on top of course you've got nice floorboards inside and beautifully detailed windows and again there's that little flower pattern on the door there love that and these patterns repeat throughout all the three houses so this is the cozy cottage i love this bit up here i think that's so pretty and then the brickwork looks really nice as well in this pinky colour. It really doesn't do it justice, the camera. It is a beautiful baby pink. It looks almost like a salmon-y kind of peach colour on camera. And the blue roof tiles, again, gorgeous. So if I turn it round, it's the exact same as the um, normal cosy cottage inside, but obviously just in the different colours. And then this comes out um if i can get it out no i can't with one hand but you've got that platform there and then you can bring this um floor down to extend the downstairs if you wanted to play a bit easier so if we just come over to the table i have littered the kitchen with all of these bits <laughs> let's have a quick look at the tower home first this is just stunning look at the brick here it's really nice. It reminds me of like a really sort of old, um, like a castle type building. The shutters around the windows are gorgeous. The detail on the windows as well. And of course, this lovely green colour on the front door. Look how elaborate that front door is as well. And the windows. It almost, yeah, definitely giving me sort of castle vibes. I don't know about you. And then we've got the, um, the top, which is sat over here goes up there and then you fix that all together and the weather pane goes in there and that's what you obviously bring the lift up with. Let's turn it around and have a look inside. I'll set it all up tomorrow and I will show you that as well. So it's three story home this one. And so it gives you a bit more room and there's the uh, elevator there. And it's actually got, if you look, don't know how well you can see oh yeah you can see almost like a little um imprint on the floor like a little doormat um you can see better there how pretty and this wood flooring as well all of the flooring in the different houses is slightly different pattern um but yeah it's just stunning i really love it so there are all of the homes and these are all of the bits so this is the living room set i love the pattern of this furniture and the little coffee table has a gorgeous little flower pattern in the middle. And these nice legs. Love that. Really pretty. As I said, this look, would look really nice in like a conservatory room or the lounge looking out onto the garden, that kind of thing. So here are the family. I've written down their names, but I've left my bit of paper <laughs> over the other side of the room. So I think the father is called, don't hold me to this, but I think the father's called Lucas, the mother's called Dawn, and I know the babies are called Leah, Bellamy, and something else that I can't remember. But I will have my facts straight when I um, put the house together tomorrow. And they, all the flowers look so so pretty i love that you've got these little ones that go in the um planters and then these ones as well um there's the ivy in there you can see the detail on the leaves i'll get all of this out properly tomorrow anyway um and then that's all just the, the pack with the railings and the weather pane um and then we've got the gorgeous windows for the cozy cottage and the stairs and a couple more railings in there and then that's just the um other sofa covers 
and then in here we have a couple of stickers or some paper items and some instructions as to how to pop it all together so i'll get those out tomorrow and show you so that's it for me on this video today. Um, I just wanted to try and keep it a quick unboxing and I will put the house together um, and show it all in its one sort of big display uh, tomorrow. And I'm looking forward to that and I will get that filmed and put up for you uh, for the weekend. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're thinking of buying the Deluxe Celebration Home, I would highly recommend purely based on the beautiful colour um, and also as well, you've immediately got three homes for your Sylvanian village, so it's great. If you can get your hands on it, I think it's definitely worth it. Um, it's going to be one of those collections that will be more sought after in years to come, as it is one of those um, limited edition sets. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will catch you tomorrow when I put this house together. And I'm looking forward to sharing that with you. Bye!